All right, well, something that you're gonna wanna do as a photographer using Lightroom is update your copyright year, because it's the beginning of the year, January 2017. Happy New Year, by the way. And, um, and you're gonna wanna go in here and Lightroom and update any presets that you're using. Also, do me a huge favor, please. If you like these videos, click the subscribe button. I do these quick tips and techniques all the time, and that way you won't have to go searching around for them, okay? So here's where you would probably find this the most. If you go into the file menu, you go down here to import. Uh, if you go down there, you're gonna see that apply during import, you've got metadata presets. So you may have already done this. You may have already created a preset for 2016. Uh, you're gonna wanna go in there and either edit that or create a new preset for 2017. But you don't even have to come here, all right? We can cancel out of here. If you go to your metadata panel, which is in the library module, scroll down to that metadata panel. If you scroll down, you'll see that there's a copyright field down there. So I've already copyrighted this photo. So you know I applied this when I did the import, but what you'll see at the top is that there's the presets. These are the same presets that are in the import dialog box. So we can come inside of here and, uh, and I can go to edit presets. If I want to very simply just edit the preset from last year, I can do that or I can just go in here and create a new preset. So you'd go through here, create and add all the information that you wanted to to the photo. So, you know, creator, I'll do Matt Kluskowski. Uh, I can do address, city, state, all that information. The important one that I'm after here is copyright. So you're gonna type the copyright symbol. On a Mac, it's option G. On a PC, I think it's like alt 0169, but here's an easy little trick. Go to Google and Google how to make the copyright symbol on Windows or Mac. There's lots of ways to do it, okay? So that'll, uh, that'll show you how to make the copyright symbol, then type in, you're gonna type in 2017, and then your name, okay? And uh, copyright status, we'll go ahead and put copyrighted. Uh, if you have a URL on your website, which is not a bad thing to do that gives people information of what your copyright means, uh, you can go in and type that information right there. But pretty easy, just go in there, make that change, or uh, make a brand new preset or template if you haven't. Click done. Uh, it's gonna say save changes as new preset. I'll choose save as, and I'll call it Matt. 2017. I don't have to be real descriptive because I'm the only one that uses my computer. All right, so I'll hit create and I'm all good to go. So now when I ever I do go into the file import dialog box, uh, what you're gonna see over here on the right hand side is your presets and there you will see Matt 2017. So I've got that copyright and that'll get tagged to every photo that I do the import on. Guys, thanks so much, happy new year. And as always, if you like these videos and uh, you don't wanna have to go searching around for them when I do a new one, go ahead and please click that subscribe button right here. And that way you'll get them automatically delivered to you.